Hi everyone, this is Jeff from Adirondack Woodsman and today I wanted to talk to you about some of the lessons that I learned with my new Woodmiser LT35 this year. Um, these are things that any new piece of equipment you're going to have uh, issues and questions and uh, these are some of the things that I thought would be helpful to uh, someone with a new uh, wood mill. So <clears throat> this last cut, these two boards are on top of each other. Um, you can see that I ended up with a dip, uh, a dip right there, or I should say that this was this board was on top of this one, flipped this way. And what happened was it hit the guide hit this, the blade didn't hit this. And so my lesson is, even though you can go right down to three quarters of an inch, I had it an inch and an eighth, you need to make sure that your guide is all the way out so that this part doesn't end up coming into contact with that and ending up raising up the, uh, raising up the uh, blade so that I end up with a dip there. So this one, I'll, this one's a little higher, so I'm gonna end up cutting this one again. That one, hopefully I'll be able to get out this one I'll be able to get out in the planer. Hopefully it, there'll be enough there. Here's an example of how you can use the toe boards in order to raise your slabs up in order to get under them with your forklifts. So they have come in really handy. So once again, my mill's all stored for the winter, but I wanted to point out one thing that I ran into this summer. So when I first started using the mill, um, these are the controls for turning the actual uh, debarker on and for moving it in or, in or out. I got to a point where the debarker wasn't coming on and I thought I had maybe tripped the circuit breaker, um, which is actually located, I don't know if I can get this thing up for you to see. It's actually located back in here, and it's kind of a pain to get to, but I thought maybe that's what happened because I had seen a number of videos where the people had to go and reset the breaker. Um, turned out my situation was different. Um, this switch right here, which allows you to move forward, and it sticks in the engage position, and then you adjust the, uh, the arrows to be, or I'm sorry, the little dial here in order to be able to control the speed. Um, if it's not in that position, the debarker won't turn on. So I had brought the mill all the way back and tried to start the next, um, the next cut and realize that um, because I didn't have this down, move it back in the forward position, even if I wasn't literally moving at all, um, it would not start. So you definitely need to have this in the forward position. So one other thing that I um, that is different with this mill versus my LT15 um, that I had uh, originally is that this one here, this will not come close enough to do like a, uh, if you have a three quarter inch board and you're trying to edge it on the end, this is, clamp will not come in far enough to be able to do that. Um, I just kind of Thought maybe I had an issue with mine, but then figured out everybody else was kind of throwing a board in between. So in the case that you only have one board to edge, um, or maybe you're doing them individually, um, I just created a two by four um, that basically spans uh, this rail and this rail, and I'll just set it down there and it allows it to, to have enough uh, width there to be able to clamp. So just pointing that out, I'm kind of surprised. I, I'm guessing there's probably some mechanical reasons, I guess, with this down here that it can only get so tight, but um, that's just one thing that I had to figure out on my own. So I recently ordered the adjustable outriggers. Um, I'm a little, not, I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm actually 61 now, and I find it a little hard to, I found it a little hard to adjust the the, uh, the ones that come with the mill. Um, and I know you're supposed to move the mill one way or the other in order to be able to, 
to leverage it and get it up, but I found it was kind of hard to pull out the little, they had those little clamps that you pull out um, in order to adjust it. And to me, it wasn't, it, I, at the LT15, I was so used to being able to crank it up and down that these were a little pricey, but um, in the long run, I think it, I'm gonna appreciate it a lot more. So uh, I think they, I, I was able to get them to come down a little bit on price only because I had bought the mill recently. Um, but there's six of them that have to go in and I have put them all on. It took a little while to add them. Um, you can see over here, back here, that one in the back's not even touching because of the, uh, the, the amount of height difference from the front to the back of the mill where I'm storing it. But, um, but yeah, the, uh, the adjustable outrigger, I think I'm gonna like a whole lot more. I haven't adjusted the, haven't put, attached the bracket yet. It's supposed to hold the, um, the, uh, the crank, but uh, everything else is, is all set. And it's nice and level. So this is where I have my mill stored for the winter at my house, not at my camp. And one of the things that I ended up doing was in order to get this in here, you can see that the head of the mill um, is kind of up in between the uh, ceiling joists of the, uh, of the roof. And uh, the way that I did that was I hooked up my tractor to the front of the uh, mill and I lowered it all the way to the ground as close as I can to the ground and then uh, when I backed it in I had the mill all the way to the front of the uh, the mill head all the way to the front of the trailer and that way I could get get the uh, head of the mill a little bit lower um, I used these straps right here in order to I tied one on each side to keep when I was moving it when I had the head all the way up to the front I used the, the straps to keep it from moving because without the actual um, uh, level levelness of the mill, you ended up with uh, the mill wanting to slide forward, which is not a good thing. So uh, I just left the straps on there and tied them, even though the mill is level. Um, as you can see, I got it fairly level uh, before uh, I ended up deciding it was good. If you like this video, uh, and you found any of these lessons helpful, please subscribe and hit like. Thank you very much.